just based on the relationship. And so have uh, some relationships with the president of my university, uh, Ed Moore, gave me, he, he, I was actually an intern for him while a student at Virginia State University, my senior year. He, uh, he, he is, and this, and, and this is an interesting story, I'll just tell you this real quick. I created a job in his office. I'm serious, I created a job in his office. Just kind of along the same, the same uh, uh, lines that, that Bud Fox used to get next to Gordon Gecko. I told Ed Moore, I said, hey, I know what the students want, and you're not listening. You need me so, so you can understand what's going on with the students. He said, oh, really? I said, yes, the students don't like me. Am I right, Dr. Williams? I went to Virginia State. I said, the students don't like you, and you need to understand why. And he said, okay, well, come with me. And, and here's why this, circle, here's why this uh, story comes full circle. He said, well, Roy, on January uh, the 15th, I'm, I'm honored, I'm going to be honored at the uh, Martin Luther King dinner at the Virginia General Assembly. And I want you to come with me. And I mean, there's going to be a lot of people there. I'm going uh, to need people to, uh, I'm going to need you to connect with certain people for me uh, while I'm being honored to do certain, because he wanted to get money coming in to, to the school. Well, I went with President Moore to this event. Mind you, I interned at the Virginia General Assembly two years prior. So we go into the event, and I know everyone there. <laughs> and, Pre and I can just see President Moore looking at me like, who is this? I mean, you know what I'm talking about? You know, the judge, the governor, the, 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 the other state delegates and senators. And everyone said, and I told them, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm the president of Moore, I'm trying to get an internship in his office. And all of the elected officials said, you need Roy Taylor in your office. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I never forget it because it changed my life. Because as a college student, I didn't have time to really work. I mean, you were in college. <laughs> I mean, he paid me $9.88 an hour, right. and I, had, I got to fit in my own time sheet, so I mean, I was <laughs> Come to find out that President Moore was good friend. When I got involved with prepaid legal, I approached President Moore about prepaid legal. Yes, I did. And he actually said, oh, Larry Frank is your provider attorney. Larry Frank and I play golf together. He said, Larry Frank is one of the most powerful people in the state of Virginia in the Democratic Party. He said, you guys are on to something. Come to find out, he said, yeah, well, I got, you know, I made my money in oil in the 80s. He told me this. He used to be the treasurer of Virginia. You know, so, so the point is, he, did y'all hear what he said? He made his money in oil. Y'all know the price of gas right now? So he still made the money. That's all. Let's talk about your dreams. Let's, let's move on. Who are your dreams? Your greens are your friends. Your greens are your family. Your greens are your peer group, right? As you can see, I still have, you want to use the indirect approach. Why? You don't want to tell your friend, hey, come to the meeting at 7 o'clock at the Marriott on Broad Street, be it. Because what are your friends going to do? They're not coming. And, and, what, and when you call it, oh man, my bad, my fault. You got something else? I mean, then no, I'll come to the next one. Your friends, right? You use the indirect approach with your friends. Why? Because Alpha Edwards, my frat brother, you know, Alpha Phi Alpha in the house. Right? The Alphas, we, we have a good time. We said we party hard, we stay up late, but most of all, we graduated. <laughs> 
gentleman there with the uh, with the, the fast food hat on. Don't get me wrong. I, I'll tell you. I, my first job was at McDonald's. My first job was at McDonald's. 15 years old. I was working at McDonald's. Yes, sir. Got fired from McDonald's for giving a friend a quarter pound. <laughs> See, I was in, anybody familiar with Decker? Oh, yeah. The marketing program? See, I was in Decker. And I got in Decker in high school because they said if you're in Decker, you can get out of school at 12 o'clock. <laughs> and go work. <laughs> and they work. Right. So I got in Decker, cut, got my school they cut in half, and was able to go to work. Well, I'm working at McDonald's on my Decker program. Some of my boys come up and they're like, well, we ain't got no money. So I gave him some food, and somebody snitched on me. <laughs> so I got fired from McDonald's, right? And I couldn't let my mother find out that I got fired from McDonald's. So I knew a friend that worked at Hardy's. And I said, look, man, I just got fired. I mean, this is the day I got fired. I said, look, I got fired from McDonald's. Are y'all hiring? He said, man, yeah, the chicken guy just, just quit. <laughs> for a job and I'm gonna see if he can get you an interview. The next day I'm at Hardy's interviewing and got a job as a chicken guy at Hardy's and told my mother, I said, look, I just I'm, I'm working at Hardy's now because I don't really have time to go all the way to McDonald's Hardy's. <laughs>
not with Gladys all the time. I wish you could tell me because you know I have that suit. 
Right, attention. So please welcome to the stage our top platinum, the group vice president from the great state and area of Maryland, D.C., Virginia. 